Magandang Hapon, my friends. Good afternoon and welcome back to another video here in the busy city of Makati in the greater Manila area, guys. And we're taking you with for a adventure all around the Makati area tonight. So it's the afternoon time frame. As you can imagine, it's crazy busy at this hour. So much traffic. So as always, I'm walking. And so we're gonna be heading over to like the Triangle Gardens in just a moment here. We're walking that way, probably like six or seven minutes away. And so we're walking through like a very modern part of the greater Manila area. I mean, there's skyscrapers in every direction here. We've got really, really nice glass ones towering over us. New ones being built right up there and just so much going on. I mean, that just goes to show you how much construction. There's an entire bridge for catching debris that was built right over that area to build these two massive matching, I'm guessing, skyscrapers. So it is a uh, really cool place to see. I'm sure coming back here in a year from now, this place is gonna look even more different than it is uh, currently today. So you can just see how much economic growth is going on in this city. And that is why Makati is the economic capital of the greater Manila area. So you can honestly feel that the types of cars driving in this area, the uh, way of life the uh, super modern restaurants around here you know just all of it really shows that uh, this area is a very economically developed area wow look at this my friends a better view of all the skyscrapers in this area incredibly gorgeous buildings all right guys as you can see we're entering in the ayala triangle gardens right here and it is gorgeous you get that mix of modern buildings right here along with these really cool looking trees outlining the uh, landscaping and from a distance, I think we can hear some noise. Come on, the cuyo. Okay, Lang? Okay, All right, enjoy, enjoy. Hey, yeah, so really nice locals here, guys. And uh, you can hear the sounds of speakers playing over there. So I think we're coming here at the right time, the evening time frame where it's golden hour. And you guys already know, like I absolutely love golden hour because everything just has this crisp look to it. And so exploring right at this time, just a little bit before the sun goes down will be such a uh, special experience. And so I'm excited to show you guys. So we'll probably test some foods out, some, uh, you know, some sort of like uh, beverages or something like that and see what we can find in the gardens over here. Guys, I've been trying to figure out how to cross the street here. And I think this is the way to cross the street. I thought this was like underground to the subway or something, but I'm seeing an exit over there. So there's fences literally on this whole area. So there must be no way to actually cross. Oh yeah, and there's a no, no crossing sign right there. So I guess this is the uh, secret passage way to get down there. Oh, there we go. Ayala Triangle, three minutes walking this way. This way? Salamat kuya. It's okay, sir. <laughs> yeah, this is nice, guys. I feel like I'm in like uh, the Frankfurt subway station or New York City uh, subway station walking down here. Got advertisements through here. Anong pangalang mo kuya? Jobin, Jobin. Sir. Jobin, nice to meet you. My name's Mac. Yeah, thanks for the help here. I got lost. Right side. Oh, that's perfect. Salamat, kuya. <laughs> All right, we are heading up this way. Oh, it's hard. And it looks like this is where everyone's going, so that's definitely a good sign towards Ayala Triangle. Oh, get a nice workout going up and down these stairs, too. And we have arrived. And as always, with everywhere around here, a 7 Eleven and a McDonald's. That's how you know if you're in Manila. All right. Ayala Triangle Gardens. Come to Kakuya. Okay, Lang? All right, good answer. And we are heading in this way. And look at this place. Very, very well lit up. And these must be like 300 year old trees with vines hanging around. That is incredible. We've got some like aesthetically designed fountains where the water just rains down. This place looks like it's ready for a huge party. Look at this, it's just raining down. What a vibe here. And then right over here, I'm not sure if that's a road going over or if that's a building connected to another building, but uh, it's pretty cool. Wow, this is modern Manila, my friends. Makati Market. Make it happen, Makati. All right, well, we're in the gardens here, so let's go ahead and, and explore this place, see what we come across. There are a lot of like stands leading up to, I believe like a stage down that way. So we've got two options here. We can go to the right. There's a couple more like high-end food stands with places to sit. 
and then there's like some street carts. I'm thinking we'll go that way first, but I want to see the sign, the TikTok Capital. Capture your best moments here. Post your photos or videos and tag Make It Makati on all these. Wow, I need a, I need a billboard like that, guys. If I have a billboard like that or a little sign, might be able to get a couple more subscribers. Uh, just kidding, but um, anyways, here we are. I'm not sure what this place is. Looks like maybe a uh, HSBC. That's a bank. So we've got a couple different, I guess, more like business or personal business stands. And then we're going to get into some serious food stands. My friends, we're going to take one quick moment to pause today's video and share with you a very exciting announcement. There is a project that I've wanted to work on for the last couple of years, but I have finally started working on it in the last couple months here and it's coming to fruition soon. So that project has something to do with apparel. However, I'm not going to share too many details just yet. But I can tell you as World Nomad fans, supporters, subscribers, followers, and viewers, you'll get the option for early exclusive access to find out more about this project. So if you want to head down to the link in the description below or in the comment section, that is where you'll find a link which will give you that exclusive early access as a thank you for being my World Nomad supporters, subscribers, fans, and followers. So thank you guys so much and back to the video. So what's going to be first on the block? We've got Paris crepes, the authentic French taste. Como esta ca? Okay long, sir. Okay long, okay long, okay long. Okay, so you've got the uh, you've got the greatest crepes in all of Manila here, yeah? That's the best. Oh, that's perfect. I came to the right place then. And anong pangalang mo? Ano pa? Pangalan ko. Pomela. Pomela, that's a nice name. Nice to meet you. My name's Mac. Uh, what's your most popular uh, crepes on the menu here? Nutella banana, sir. Ooh, Nutella banana. All right, I'll take one of those, please. Okay. All right, so we're gonna see how a uh, how the best crepes in Manila and Makati are prepared. It feels like we're in France right there with the Paris crepes, the fresh bananas right there. Looks like they toss cream cheese on here, Nutella and. Uh, yeah, I mean, right down here in a, in a really modern park, guys, it's it's uh, really good pricing here. We're talking like 150 to 2 US dollars in order to do this. So... Uh, yes, please. Como esta ka, ate? Okay, long. That's perfect. So we've got the batter right there. We're going to hear a sizzle, I bet. Ooh, the sweet sound of a crepe beginning its process to be cooked. Wow, that is satisfying. Yum, yum, yum. And it basically creates a nice thin layer of dough, I guess you could call it, the, the crepe bread. And it cooks so fast because of how thin it is. We're gonna come take a look from uh, this side, if that's all right. So there you go, we got a uh, side view here. And look at that, it's pretty much already hardened. And is that butter? Yes, sir. Okay, so some fresh butter there to, uh, to get it going. And you can see there's buckets and buckets of Nutella spread right there. Or we've got choco spread and Nutella spread, so two different options. And a big like knife looking thing that is used to flip that. Wow, and a perfect flip there. Oh wow, that's sizzling. Ooh, smells very good. Masarap. Masarap <laughs> Yes, yes. Oh, there we go. So now we're moving it to the next spot here. Yum. Oh, we've got the sliced bananas already ready to go. Yum, yum, yum. So those are basically going to outline the edges of it. And you guys are here all year round or just during Christmas? Just in Christmas. Just in Christmas. But we have a branch at SM Dasman, SM Tansi. Is that Makati? No, Pagaviti, sir. Okay, is that, how far is that from here? I'm sorry, sir? Uh, how many minutes walking to there? I think it's too far, sir. Oh, pretty far, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Just a little drizzle on the bananas. Yum, yum, yum. And a nice fold right there. Ayos. And uh, Magcano, Ate? Okay. So that looks fantastic. Yes, Mom. Hi, Mom. Yes, Mom. Salamat. Thank you very much. 
Oh no, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, almost lost it. Thank you. All right, my friends, we are gonna be trying out one of these delicious crepes right here. All right, guys, let's give this crepe. Oh, it's falling over me. A nice big bite. Mazarab, very much so, delicious. This is incredible, guys. That really thin crepe bread is just so, so chewy, cooked the right amount. Mix it with the banana and the uh, Nutella. It's literally heaven for the taste buds. Mm. I could eat like five of these, they're so good. And it's probably like pretty healthy for you because you got the bananas in there, right? comes out to about like two dollars per crepe or like a hundred uh, Filipino just over a hundred Filipino um, pesos and yeah, it's, mm, mm, mm. so so good oh that was a delicious crepe salamat thank you so much uh, garbage there mm. nope. oh thank you get those hands nice and clean salamat Wah. thank you so much Welcome goodbye Salamat. All right, guys. Well, let's see what else we're going to be finding. We got Hungarian sausage. We've got a nice little bakery right there. Oh, yum, yum, yum. And we've got more Paris like items. Oh, so many desserts. I should have came with a bigger appetite. Kamostaka. All right, and we've got some cool crystal designs there. Oh, wines here. Kamostaka. Delicious wines here, yeah? Are you doing taste testing? No, sir. Oh, okay. Uh, doing mold wine? Yes, sir. And uh, we can drink that in the park? Yes, sir. All right, let's take one mold wine. Nice. Kuya. Anong pangalang mo? Raven, sir. Raven. All right, nice to meet you, Raven. Nice to meet you, sir. That sounds like Ray Ban, so it's like an elite name, yeah? Okay. Yeah, that's great. So does this have alcohol in it? Yes, sir. Oh, all right, so we're going to be uh, feeling some type of way after this. And magkano kuya? 100 pesos, sir. 100, okay, there's uh, 150. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. All right, brother, thank you. Thank Let's you, sir. try out this uh, delicious mold wine right here. Oh, that is the holiday season written all over it. Salamat kuya. Thank you, sir. And which brand is this one? The Taste of France? Yes, sir. So this is uh, imported all the way from France? Uh, yes, sir. But the other is from Spain. Oh, Spain. Yes, sir, the All right. Lolea, sir. The Lolea. Okay, that's really good. And then that's a beer right there, or a cider. Uh, it's a cider. Sir. Cider. Okay. Which one's your favorite? Uh, sir. The red one. Sir. Oh, the red one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that looks really good. And you guys have like a branch somewhere in yes, the city? Yes, we have a restaurant here in Makati Avenue. Oh, restaurant. Okay. French restaurant. Oh, French restaurant. Yeah, I might have to stop by. French restaurant. Oh, all right. That sounds like a place I might need to visit. Uh, yes, sir. You can visit. I'll have to do that. So you can buy here bottles and mini bottles, yeah? Yes, sir. All right. Well, that's great. Fantastic. Salamat, kuya. Yes, sir. Hey, guys. We got ourselves a, a delicious mold wine to walk around with. Oh, that is literally the definition of the holiday season in a cup. Tasting the sweet taste of... Uh, one dollar and I think 90 cent mold wine to be exact. And then over here, lots of different, uh, uh, it seems like predominantly it's all French uh, stands over here. Guys, if you've ever had mold wine, what mold wine is, is it's basically like heated wine that has more of like a sweet, light spice to it, I guess you could say. Like the spices you usually have around like the uh, holiday seasons, the festive type of spices and uh, it's, it's very delicious. We got pure nectar. Hello, can you get some fresh Filipino shirts here too? Hello, come out the car. Okay, Lang, that's great. We've got some nice shirts here. Oh, that looks really nice. I might have to get one because I'm going to Boracay. Oh, really? Which one looks like a Boracay shirt? Well, all of them. Yeah, that's true, they all look like Boracay shirts. I think you're a large or something. Yeah, large, yeah, yeah. That one's looking good for that. Oh, that, that is a nice one too. Or this one. Since you're not so into loud colors. Yeah, yeah. It's a little green for me, very Irish okay. right there. That one. Ooh, that could be the one. Is that large? Yep. And 
Magcano Coolio? That one is 600 each. 600, all right, all right. That looks great. And let's see there. Can I try it on? No problem. Oh, perfect. How, how are we looking? Good? Perfect. All right, let's test this out. Anong Pangalang Mokuyo? Pangalang is Rogi. Rogi, yes. She's I need the card, please. I'll give you a card so that just in case you need anything. Perfect. Thank you very much. So you guys have a shop here too? And then you have a stand? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we are a, we are regular at the gas station the market. Okay. That's over there. Uh, walking distance. Yeah. 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 All right. That's perfect. Every Sunday we're there. Every Sunday. A solid month then, yeah? Daily. Yes. Ooh. How does that look? I, mirror, please. We have, yeah, do we have a mirror? Yeah, we have a mirror. What do you think for size-wise? Actually, it's quite perfect for you. Sometimes I feel like I'm an extra large in, in uh... Ooh. Whoa, I might have to wear that today before I get the Boracay. Please. Oh uh, yeah, it's still going. It just uh, saves the battery. All right, we'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah, <laughs> that looks fantastic. You have to send me a picture when you wear it. <laughs> uh, we'll do. We'll do. Eileen, Rogi, the certain numbers, and then other secrets. Uh, Facebook. Oh, perfect, guys. And IG you, also. If you want to get yourself a very fresh shirt like this, you're heading down to uh, Boracay. You're heading down to El Nido, like I will be in upcoming videos. Stop by right here uh, in Makati area. Yeah, and come and see under secrets. We. That's our products. Okay, boxers, shorts, pants, all lounge, keep in mind. <laughs> Swim shorts, men's polo. Oh, we got dry fits. I'm gonna have to stop by the store. <laughs> Face mask, hair uh, er, hair accessories, cloth bags, corporate giveaways. Well, that sounds fantastic. Here. So you guys cover everything. Yep. We'll try to. There you go. Merry Christmas. Oh. Salamat. That's for your cell phone. Oh, okay, That's thank you bag. so much. That's really kind of you. <laughs> I appreciate that. I got the... Hi, por favor. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Are you uploading this? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but you have a channel, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You write it down, please. It's uh, World No Mac. Okay. World No Mac. World No Mac. Okay, we'll subscribe. C. Salamat Kuya. <laughs> world No Mac with a what? Uh, world No Mac with a C at the end. No Mac. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's Not like, no it's like well, World Nomad because I'm a nomad, no. but my name's Mac, so it's World Nomad. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little punny there, yeah? Yeah. So are we going to open up our gift I see right what now? you're doing there. Yeah, yeah, you got it. All right, how do I open up the gift there? Uh, oh, yep, that's me. All right, that's great. Oh, thank you. Salamat. You're welcome. Got it? Got it. Got it. All right, salamat. There you go. So, you guys, we got ourselves a fresh free gift here, so we can go ahead and toss the cell phone in here, yeah? Yeah. Cell phone or your oh, glasses? Oh, sunglasses or... case. All right, that's fantastic. There we go. No one will have any idea now. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Very nice. That's what we call iOS. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Those are, those are actually leftover fabric from our shorts. Oh, leftover. All right. So I'm wearing part of someone else's shirt. Yeah. Hey, that's awesome. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Salamat, my friends. Nice to meet you. Thank you. And goodbye. Guys, that's what I'm talking about. We're ready for Boracay now. Oh, what do you guys got over here? Fresh juices? Yes, sir. Uh, turmeric. What's an insulin juice? Insulin is a... Uh, and it's good for your health? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. We'll take one of each. 80 per small, 100 per large, sir. All right. We'll, this is per small. Okay, we'll do uh, one small. Uh, oh, you have more juice flavors back there. Yes, sir. Lemongrass, banana, and banana, sir. Okay, okay. Ios. All right, we'll take... Um, which one's better, insulin or turmeric? I think it's uh, insulin, sir. Okay, we'll take one insulin. Small, sir. Uh, small, and then we'll take... Which one for the teas is the best? Uh, I think it, it, lemongrass and pandan. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll do a lemongrass then, yeah? Smiling, sir. Oh, perfect, perfect. So, anong pangalang mo, kuya? Yes, ma. Anong? Anong? Pelix po, Pelix. Pelix? Yes. Nice to meet you, Pelix. And you? Alex Senior. Alex Senior. Ah, uh, father. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Very nice. So you guys have a shop locally around here? Uh, ano, Legaspi, Makati. Uh, okay, yeah. so close to here, yeah, yeah, near, near the triangle. Every Sunday, on Sunday. No, on every Sunday, okay, perfect. So we got lucky then, because I'm actually leaving tomorrow. So uh, if I wouldn't have made it here, I wouldn't have been able to meet you guys. Yeah, nice. <laughs> uh, we can go uh, without the top, without the top. Uh, Save the plastic, yeah? Because yeah, right, we're going to see how fast we can drink these anyways. So we've got the insulin juice right here. Wow, guys, that is. Let's Hello. Take your picture wearing the polo, man. Oh, let's do it. We're gonna post it. We'll tag you, okay? 
<laughs> there you go. Oh, that's perfect. I just tag you. All right, sounds good on Instagram, you're, you're, yeah? You're Facebook, so. Uh, Instagram's better. Okay, I'll do it. Oh, did I knock that? Whoops. Salamat. So guys, we're tasting the uh, insulin juice and everything for health benefits are helps control diabetes, excellent source of antioxidants, improves kidney and liver health, reduces bad cholesterol. So it tastes like really good. It's got like a, a thicker syrupy taste for juice, lightly sweet so you know you're not having too much sugar. And let me put it this way, walking through the hot, humid air here in Manila, it's nice and refreshing. So Magcano's 145, yeah? Yes, sir. All right, well, 200, keep the change. Thank you, sir. It is a World Nomac. A uh, World Nomac. Okay, sir, okay, sir. Yeah, with a C at the end, yep. Yeah. All right, thank you, salamat. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, guys, the uh, lemongrass helps reduce high blood pressure, promotes healthy digestion, reduces cholesterol, food antiseptic, and antibacterial. So let's give this one a taste here. Wow, fantastic. This one's got a sweeter taste to it. Definitely a lighter, less syrupy than the uh, insulin juice. Really nice though, also very refreshing. I probably couldn't finish two, uh, probably 12 or 16 ounce drinks unless they were nice and smooth down the uh, throat. Very Ayos Mazarap, my friends. Salamat. Thank you, sir. Salamat, and I'm gonna take this one with me. We got the mold wine there. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, see you. All right, we got our good friends here, and uh, I know Kangalang Mo? Mo. 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 Nice to meet you, Mo. And your good name, brother? Marcos, bro. Marcos. Nice to meet you, brother. Mac. Mac. Yeah, nice to meet you. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask you if it's a cup or drop for you, just based on your own uh, taste. Yeah. It will not really matter if you're not a sneakerhead or not. We just want the general opinion. A right, cup or drop? Yes. Yeah, cup or yeah, drop. So okay. This, so this is the sneaker. So I'll. Grab it along Perfect. Oh yeah, delicious. Yeah, yeah, very good. I uh, just had this one is right here, yeah? yeah? I just had an iced tea and I had an insulin juice. Yeah. And it's your shop? Yeah. Oh, let me put it this way, Mazarab. Yeah, very, very good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, very healthy, it was good. I just drank two of them, that's why my belly's looking a little bigger. <laughs> but very good, yeah. And uh, Anong Pangalang Mo? Hi. Eli, nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah, from Leisure Farm. From Leisure Farm. I would love to, but... Tomorrow I fly to Boracay. Otherwise, I would absolutely love to. Yeah. But what? Uh, maybe March. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. But. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. You can drop by to our farm. I would absolutely love to. Yeah. So if you have a card, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. The owner of the farm, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm gonna just uh, need like five minutes and I'll be there, yeah? Okay, thank you. Let's do it, guys. So, welcome to the uh, World Nomad channel. I am a uh, American travel vlogger and I am traveling all over the Philippines meeting amazing people like you guys. So, the Philippines is Ayos, very good, and uh, Salamat, Kuyas, and Ates. All right, thank you so much, bro. Uh, thank you, bro. Really appreciate it. Thank you, brothers. All right, you guys do. Oh, perfect. So this is where I can come and buy myself a pair, yeah? All right, thank you, brother. Good to meet you guys. Enjoy, sir. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, perfect. Lily, okay, it's fantastic to meet you. This is Albert Blanca Flor. Albert's the farm owner, yeah? Yeah, the farm owner. Oh, perfect. We can go meet him then? Yeah, let's do it. You are? My name is Mac. Hello, my friend. Blanca Flor. Albert. It's a pleasure to meet you, Albert. My name is Mac. 
You are from uh, United States. U.S. U.S. Oh, yes, sir. You have that funny accent. Uh, yeah, exactly. Funny accent, yeah. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like America. Yeah, I know a little bit, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm exploring the uh, beautiful country of the Philippines for a couple weeks. Oh, so, yeah. you've been around the uh, island? No, I'm Boracay tomorrow. Boracay, good. Yeah, Enjoy yeah. Boracay tonight. Nice. Yeah, thank you. I'm really looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah, you have a group or you're alone? Uh, alone, but my brother's in Boracay, so I'll be with my brother starting tomorrow. Okay, you have your yeah. girlfriend with you going to Boracay? Uh, my, my fiance is in Lebanon. <laughs> yeah. Lebanon? Yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. So okay. it's good, it's good. And you're doing what? Uh, I'm, I make travel vlogs, so I explore, I meet local people, I try local foods. I do adventures in the, in the areas, I share what my thoughts are interacting, I learn some of the local words. I don't come along well, come on to the car, Okay, long. <laughs> you lost me there, but I tried. You tried. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay guys, so it looks like we've got alcoholic ice cream. Kamosta kakuya. Okay lang. Okay that's fantastic. Anong pangalang mo? Dexter. Dexter? Dexter. Nice to meet you Dexter. So you've got alcohol that gets people drunk? Yes. Wow, so explain to me this. So you just have a scoop of it and it's the same as having one beer? When you When you have one scoop of ice cream, it's the same as drinking one beer? No, no. Oh. no, no, no. Slight oh, okay, okay. Slight so which one do you think is a good one? Guinness? Or sh oh, strawberry vodka? Look at them. Oh, well. Good. How yeah. about you? Yeah, very good, very good. Yeah. Great. I'm looking to uh, try some of your tipsy ice cream. Perfect. We still got our best sellers, the hot chocolate brandy and strawberry vodka. Hot ch oh, strawberry vodka. That's yelling my name right now. Yes. I, I think we'll have to try that one. And so, if I have one of these, it's the same as having like one drink? Uh, the double scoop is like a, uh, one glass. Oh, okay. Cocktail. So maybe we need to do the single scoop because I've already got myself a mold wine right there. Oh, okay. Don't want to be wa it's, not able to walk stuff. away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anong pangalang mo kuya? Anthony. Anthony, all right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Yeah, and this are. is uh, your shop? Uh, I'm one of the owners. One of the owners. Oh, that's fantastic. That's so good. My partners are the artist and I'm the alcoholic. Uh, okay, well, someone's <laughs> got to be it, right? Well, you're yeah. in good company. <laughs> that's great. My name's uh, Mac. World yeah. Nomac on YouTube. World Nomac. Hello, yeah. hello. Yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you. All right, we'll have uh, just one scoop of the strawberry vodka here. Actually, before that, why don't you try the special as well? The lychee oh, ginger. Oh, the special. Sherbet. Okay. Lychee gin sherbet. Now, look at that, guys. Our kind of pink gin mix. Yeah. Well, that sounds fantastic. See, in the Philippines, we love to uh, make uh, gin cocktails that are pink. We usually use pomelo juice with it. Oh, okay. For us, we're going with a mixture of strawberries, lychees, and gin and vodka. Oh, yes. all right. I think that's something you'd like to try. Let's put it this way. That sounds fantastic. Or let's put it this way. In uh, Filipino terms, that sounds mazarap. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Lychee. <laughs> All right, and so you guys have a shop somewhere or a restaurant? Uh, not yet. We do have our website though. We have tipsycream.com oh, okay. and on Tipsy Instagram Cream. we're tipsycream Manila. Okay, and you you uh, basically serve all over the Greater Manila area? Yeah, Greater Manila area. Oh, okay. So we can go a little to the nearby provinces. Perfect. Not in Boracay yet though? Not yet. Not ah, okay. I was gonna say because tomorrow. <laughs> we're gonna figure that out first. <laughs> exactly. I'm I'm heading to uh, Boracay tomorrow. I was gonna say I would love to be tipsy uh, with an ice cream on the beach. Yeah. Soon, but the beaches will be beautiful. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Cheers. Okay, cheers. Let's try this thing out. All right, guys. This is the first time in my life that I'm having alcoholic ice cream. So this is going to be such an experience here. 
We've got strawberry vodka here, which I think it says it's six to seven percent. No, that's the lychee. Oh, lychee. Oh, this is the lychee. Okay, yeah. the lychee gin sherbet. So this is six to seven percent. Let's give it a taste. Oh, wow. That like gives me a uh, blast back into the past from when I was a kid because I loved eating sherbet ice cream, except this is the adult version because you get a nice buzz from it. Mmm. Mazarab. It's definitely a good idea to get some. Very delicious here. <laughs> Hello, alcoholic ice cream. Mmm. <laughs> this is really, really good. So it's got a fruity flavor. And even though there's alcohol in the ice cream, you really can't taste the alcohol that much. You get a very light taste, so it still gives you that like amazing flavor of ice cream on your tongue. Well, helping you feel a little bit good for the night. Mm -hmm. I like it, brother. I love it. And so your favorite is also the uh, gin sherbet? My favorite is uh, the Guinness milk chocolate. So I'm a yes. beer guy. I'm a okay. beer guy, so I love stouts, especially. So when we made the Guinness milk chocolate, yeah. I knew that was perfection. Because oh, yeah. as you know, stouts, they go well with chocolate dessert. So exactly. we made that in ice cream form now. And my number two would be uh, one of our specials as well. Sadly, I don't have it tonight. The first flavor we made, which was vanilla beer. Oh, vanilla beer. Yeah, that's oh, how we okay. stumbled upon Tipsy Cream. And yeah. one Oktoberfest, we tried it. We just, my friend just made a vanilla ice cream with beer yeah. in it. And I'm like, hey, this is perfect. <laughs> uh, du warst in Deutschland for Oktoberfest? You were in uh, Germany? No, but we do celebrate it here. Uh, well. Oh, you celebrate it in yeah, the Philippines? Yeah, Filipinos also do. Oh, oh that's yeah. sweet. Okay, good to know. Yeah. We have a uh, we have our own we have our own uh, localized yeah the Filipino local version yeah yes yes yeah, San that's... Miguel and everything have you tried San Miguel oh I love San Miguel yes yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm a beer guy too yes yeah yeah that's awesome perfect <laughs> so that means next time guys we're gonna have to try the uh, Guinness so when I since I'm going to Boracay tomorrow I won't have a chance to uh, try the Guinness this time but when I come back in hopefully a couple months to the Philippines this will be a number one stop mm. so so good. And uh, Makano Kuya? So that's uh, for that one scoop, it's 120 pesos, roughly two dollars. Perfect, two dollars. That is a fantastic price. Okay. There we go, there's 200, uh, the rest for a tip, yeah? Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Mazarab, thank you very much, my thank friend. Thank you, thank you. Have a great night. Yeah, thank you, you as well. Salamat Kuya, see you guys. Fantastic guys, we've got ice cream, we've got mold wine, everything's great tonight. And guys, while we were trying out the ice cream, the uh, sun is disappearing on us. We've got just a few minutes left of even a little bit of light out. And it seems like the show they were having right over there is coming to an end for the day. I want to say there's a couple other food stands here, but we might have just missed them. And on the left here, I don't know if this is just the entrance to a building or what, but maybe they have... Oh, okay, there's a sign down there, guys. It says shops. Like, this is incredible, guys. This is the greater Manila area. So modern. The architecture is just phenomenal. Honestly, at night, it's looking even more beautiful because you can see these buildings have their, like, unique, aesthetically pleasing lights all around it. Like, this is a place you could walk around for hours at night and just uh, really enjoy the moments. Safe, relaxing, calm, and a great temperature in this area. And I'm double fisting. So yeah guys, that was a visit down to Ayala Triangle. Really nice time coming down here and... Hello brother. Yeah, so it was a really nice time exploring the Ayala Triangle area. Lots of really good vendors to check out, have some you know really unique things there. I didn't expect to have mold wine and uh, boozy ice cream. So that was kind of a uh, surprise to say the least. But yeah, cool experience to have and so definitely a uh, nice part of Makati to come check out so thank you guys so much for watching as always and as I mentioned earlier in today's video I have a very exciting apparel project coming and as World Nomad fans subscribers and supporters you guys have early exclusive access to find out more about this project first before anyone else so head down to the description or the comment section to find that link to get you that access thank you so much we'll see you in the next one